woolly mammoth. Its closest relative that is still alive today is the Asian elephant. Woolly mammoths live at the same time as humans. Isolated populations on a few islands lived as recently as 4,000 years ago. Woolly mammoths are well known for their long curved tusks, and mammoth ivory is still a hot commodity among humans to this day. Description and Size Woolly mammoths were the same size as today's African elephants. Males stood between 9 and 11 feet high at the shoulder and females were slightly smaller, 8.5 to 9.5 feet high at the shoulder. Males could weigh as much as 12,000 pounds, and females weighed 8,000 pounds. A newborn woolly mammoth would have weighed 200 pounds. Woolly mammoths were covered in fur, likely to keep them warm in the wintry environments they inhabited. Genetic tests revealed that woolly mammoths ranged in color from blonde to dark brown or black. However, they aren't sure if there was an evolutionary advantage to this coloring. Preserved woolly mammoth hair is often orangish when it is found, but researchers believe that is due to ground conditions changing the pigmentation. What is most interesting is that the gene researchers used to determine the animal's coloring is still present in animals today, including humans. This gene causes people to have red hair, and in some other animals, it causes yellow or blonde hair. Woolly mammoths had long trunks, like elephants, and huge, curved tusks. Researchers believe they used their tusks in a similar manner to modern elephants. They could use their tusks for fighting and use their trunks for handling items and help with foraging. The main difference between woolly mammoths and modern elephants is their ears. They had much smaller ears, likely to minimize the chance of frostbite. Besides their tusks, they had four large molars to grind their food. Their molars would get replaced six times throughout their lifetime. What did woolly mammoths eat? Woolly mammoths likely lived on a diet of mainly grasses and sedges, grass-like plants with flowers. However, evidence found preserved in the stomachs of mammoths shows that they also snacked on flowers, shrubs, materials found on trees, and moss. Different samples show that what the mammoths ate specifically depended on their location. When and where woolly mammoths lived. Woolly mammoths lived in a type of environment called mammoth steppe or tundra steppe. This area was found in the northern regions of what we now call Asia, Europe, and North America. There are actually two groups of woolly mammoths that experts are researching to find out if they should be two different subspecies. The first group went extinct about 45,000 years ago and stayed closer to the Arctic. The second group went extinct about 12,000 years ago and skeletons of this type have been found as far south as the Shandong province in China and Granada in Spain. Woolly mammoths may have gotten onto North America by crossing the land bridge on what is now the Bering Strait over 300,000 years ago. Researchers consider the woolly mammoth to be one of the most successful mammals of its era because it was present in so many places. They estimate its habitat covered over 33,301,000 square kilometers. Other mammoth species were present millions of years ago. Woolly mammoths started to diverge from other mammoth species about 800,000 years ago. They went extinct in most places around 10,000 years ago, except for isolated populations on islands that went extinct 4,000 years ago. When and why did the woolly mammoth die out? There are a few different theories as to why the woolly mammoth died out. The one thing everyone is sure about is when they died out. Most died out about 10,000 years ago. However, a few isolated populations remained on the islands. They lived on St. Paul Island, which is part of Alaska, until 5,600 years ago. They lived on Vrongil Island, in Russia, until about 4,000 years ago. It is a bit easier to determine the cause of extinction for the smaller island-based populations. The mammoths on St. Paul Island went extinct because their habitat shrank due to sea level rise, and that likely reduced the amount of fresh water available. The Vrongil Island mammoths seem to have been killed by a catastrophic event, which could have been the arrival of humans on the island or changes in the climate. Their disappearance did happen around the same time that humans first came to the island. That pattern is seen in some other mammoth populations. For example, in what is now Alaska and Yukon, 
mammoths died out 1,000 years after humans appeared. Experts believe that a shrinking habitat due to a changing climate put the population in a declining trend. Then, human activity and hunting likely sealed their fate. Mammoth Ivory Ivory from woolly mammoths is a hot commodity to this day. This is in part because it is illegal in many places to trade or sell elephant ivory, so people use mammoth ivory instead. Climate change and human activity are revealing more and more mammoth skeletons and tusks, especially in Siberia. A lucrative market has formed, particularly exporting mammoth ivory to China, where expert craftspeople carve it into beautiful and traditional designs and figures. Early humans and Neanderthals used mammoth ivory to make tools and even used the mammoth bones as a building material. They also used mammoth ivory to make spear tips. Bringing back the woolly mammoth Some people want to bring back the woolly mammoth using preserved genetic evidence. This process is complicated. First, the genome of the extinct animal must be sequenced. Then. Scientists must edit the DNA of a close living relative, meaning one must exist. Luckily, in the case of mammoths, the Asian elephant is a good candidate. 